obviously my setup, you know, by default, it's already set up to show me the license plates as they're coming through. Uh, but if I want to do a search, hit the box, go down to LPR, right? I can do it a couple different ways. I could either, you know, if I wanted to see a time range, I could just say, oh, you know, show me everything between here and here. Just hit search. Every license plate that comes across is here. Uh, if I wanted to actually do a search, you know, look for license plate one, two, three, and let's look back over the past couple days, you know, 411 to 413 perhaps. You know, just show me, hit search, right? So there really wasn't a one, two, three in there, but the system says, well, maybe you fat fingered it, or maybe, you know, you, you just weren't quite right. So anything that's even close to one, two, three, it's gonna show, right? So it found one, two inside EGM J twin 12. Yeah, it sound, found one, two there. Um, so it makes it relatively easy to use. Uh, <clears throat> And then click it, and there's my hits right there. Let's see. Yeah, one LSL2 DI. So, uh, as far as setting up whitelists and blacklists, I'm gonna go back and do a site setup, license plate watch list. Uh, VIP clients, good people, that's funny. There's a couple different ways I can do it, right? So, I can have multiple watch lists with, with this version of it, with the LPR. I can have whitelist, blacklist, gray list, whatever you want. Um, enter her name, watch list, watch list one. Watch list one, right? Watch the description, call it what you want. I can do a couple different things. I can either type in a license plate manually. I want to type in, you know, HUJK87, for example, right? You know, and I want the system to, if it's at least 50% sure it's that, let me know about it, right? Or I could, you know, import. I can import a CSV, I can import a text file. Uh, it's all right there, it's very handy. Uh, and just bring it right in. I can bring in a complete list of them. Uh, again, I can have multiples. Uh, with that, you know, there's multiple options you can do. You know, traditionally when you're looking at an LPR camera, it should be a black and white image, right? If it's true license plate capture, it should be a black and white image. Uh, we're doing LPR, so this is the LPR software basically running on a couple video clips that we're just ingesting into the server. The server doesn't know it's a video clip. The server thinks these are cameras, but it's not. We've just got a way of dumping it in there. Um, and we're just doing it on here. So at my house, I, I use a very similar, I use a, a two megapixel box. Basically, what's inside here, without the vi without the visible light blocker that this one does, uh, and I read hundreds and hundreds of license plates a day. Uh, any if you get a, if you can see a camera stream in ACC, you can run LPR on it. Um, obviously, the better quality, the, the more we want to. But <clears throat> all right, so uh, let's do something with a watch list. There's a couple things we could do with a watch list. So let's go back and do a device setup. Uh, let's see, device setup and license plate watch list. So let's make one. VIP clients, let's edit that. And let's see, license plate one, two, three, four, minute confidence is 70%, right? So I've got that watch list in there now. I've got two of them, original and VIP clients. What can I do with that? A lot of stuff. So let's create a new rule. So server events, device events, user events, alarm events, license plate recognition events, right? License plate detection started. I could say when any license plate is detected, uh, I could type them in manually. Uh, you know, this is a, this is kind of a one-off if you don't want to build a watch list. I could do one-offs. You know, if, if we do this like CEOs, you know, if, if if I see CEOs license plate, go ahead and use that to trigger and I'll put to open up the gate for them or a door or something like that. Uh, but with a watch list, I can just click there. When the license plate watch list match occurs on any device, right? I can select which cameras I want it to be on, which the watch list we want it to be on, the ones we we're just looking at. You now, if that happens on VIP clients, what do I want them to do, right? Pretty much anything you want to, to be realistic, right? Just like any anything else in our rules engine, I can display an on-screen message, send an email, send a text message, pop live video, you know, uh, automatically create a bookmark, start a video intercom call. I mean, just any number of things. Uh, what really what really gets in, interesting is when you uh, take it to the digital outputs on the camera themselves. You can go into it just a uh, just a regular relay and pretty much do anything you want just by activating digital output. Um, so in this case, we'll just do you know when it does that, start live streaming for that camera or multiple cameras, you know. It's just like a regular rules engine. It's, it's very powerful. You can really dig in there. Uh, make a contingent, hit next, and we'll just call it LPR rule, LPR match. Oh my goodness, LPR match. And that's it. So I've created a watch list and I've created something to happen. So if I were to have somebody on the VIP clients, all I've got the system set to do now is just immediately pop up that live stream of that camera. Uh, but I could really have it do anything I wanted.